Hey everyone, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Start letting. Hello. Happy hello. fall. I think it's official. I think we can say it's fall. I think so. My leaves are changing. Are your leaves changing? They are. Nice. Nice. Yes, hello everyone. I'm just going to keep admitting people as they come in, and maybe we start in one or so minutes. Yes, good morning, good morning. All right, everyone, it's uh, it's about a minute after. Uh, let me get the meeting started and then, um, oh yes, we're already recording, so that's all good. Uh, so welcome, okay. yeah, welcome to the October call. Um, I've managed to click around in the updated Zoom a few times, so the presentation is a tiny window this big, but Kylie, you're filling my screen, so hello, welcome. Um, Hi, guys. <laughs> So yeah, let me uh, step aside here and get my environment a little corrected. And uh, and yeah, Kylie, if you want to start off the um, the agenda and share your screen, and we'll get this rolling. You should have the screen share up. So if anyone, if everybody does, let me know. If you don't, it's up. Okay, Abby's telling me this. All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I know the last few weeks, especially for the wise on the East Coast, has been a little bit of a difficult experience for you. We're so sorry about what's going on with Helene and Milton. Um, and please let you know, we just want to say you're in our thoughts, um, all of ours, as we sort of proceed. But for today, we're going to talk about website services and the lovely things that we're getting ready for you. Um, so today's agenda is we're going to just go through the release schedules. We have made some changes. It's against our normal policy. Uh, like our normal structure. So wanting to make sure we reiterate what this looks like for you, because normally we have four releases a year. We've kind of moved some of them around. Um, Avi's going to do a lovely demo on where we're at with a small white template. Um, we've got some deprecations coming up at the end of this year that we want to make sure everybody's very aware of. Um, just some stuff on how the roadmap is working, some reminders, and then time for questions. So we'll keep it short and sweet, probably have you in and out in half an hour, but uh, we appreciate your time. So some of the stuff for the schedule, for the upcoming schedule. So we are doing our next release, hopefully mid-November. So the date is still a little bit TBD, but we are thinking around the 12th of November, that will be the release of the small white template. The goal of the small white template is to provide digital equity for all of our single or smaller family wise um, that have a very specific mission towards them. So that will be released um, with a downloadable state. It won't have demo content and things in it at that point, but it'll be downloadable and you'll be able to view it and use it and start your build from there. Um, we're working to get the demo content in fast and furiously, but I don't think it'll be fully realized by that point. So what would normally be our September or September release um, is now pushed to November. We then will, after the November release is completed, we're going to go back to our semi business operating as usual schedule with our next release in March. March is a big technical cleanup. So for those of our Ys that have, um, that don't apply to the small, to the small white template, you guys are gonna be looking at doing a Bootstrap 5 update. There has been an end of life to Bootstrap um, that we need to sort of deal with and take advantage of. So making sure we get that done. Um, it will include some iconography design updates as well as dark mode um, as part of that update as well. And then we will also be doing some Vue.js updates as well as um, just some improvements to Layout Builder. I think there's gonna, we're gonna try to see if we can squish in some membership stuff. Um, in June, this is the big one. So for everybody doing their fiscal planning for this year, the one I want you to remember is the June update. June is the change from Drupal 11 to Drupal, or Drupal 10, pardon me, to Drupal 11. We recommend that by the June release, you are all on Drupal 10.3. 10.3 will have the hooks to get us to 10 point, to get us to 11, and we'll start making that upgrade from Drupal 10 to Drupal 11. This isn't a rebuild, it's just an update, but it is something that you need to be um, conscious of so that we are done. Most of the wise, we would recommend that you are on Drupal 11 by the end of 2025. So from your fiscal planning and your sort of schedule planning for next year. 
Um, we'll do some finalized cleanups for Layout Builder as well as Bootstrap during that time. And we are hoping to get out the new financial aid calculator in June of next year as well. Um, and that's going to be our big piece. So what I'm going to transition to now is with Avi so he can show you guys the small Y template. Um, I'm going to start by giving a little bit of a preamble to this, which is I'm going to stop my screen share while Avi gets his up and say that the small Y template work that we're going to show you is very much into development. So anyone who's ever seen an in sprint demo, please consider this an in sprint demo for you. Um, we trust that you guys can see past some of the little quirks that we're going to see, but it, it, we wanted to make sure you could see where we're at and sort of how things are starting to come together. Awesome. Avi, you're up. We're actually seeing all of ourselves, Avi, in your screen share. You are seeing yourselves. Oh, there we go. We figured it out. Cool. It's just a pinning on my side. I think I did the same thing Tom did. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, thanks, Kylie. Um, so, so yeah, as Kylie said, um, I'm going to be demoing um, the work so far. Um, it's very much a work in progress, but um, we put together this kind of uh, demo page that shows off a lot of the new styles. Um, you know, the, these new styles are, are meant to kind of complement the, the experience of the small Y. Um, and uh, and I think they're they're coming along really great. So um, you'll see first off, I'm just going to walk through this page. Um, one of the requests we've we've had from um, wide across the board is uh, an extra set of menus at the top of the page. Uh, so up here, there is now a utility nav in addition to the um, the links over here, which are the the user account menu uh, and the main nav. So that utility nav is going to help. Um, highlight some some links um, for your why uh, just if there if there are more things that you want to surface at the very top of the page uh, it's also going to show up uh, in the mobile navigation as well so that um, so that those won't get uh, won't get hit um, if you could yeah. sorry just to interject if mm -hmm. you could as we go through it there's some of these items that we're going to be pulling back into the the main portion of the district if you could highlight the ones that would be coming back in so that the all wise understand which ones they can participate in Yes, that's perfect. Um, I'm going to do my best. Um, there, we're we're still um, figuring out figuring where those things are <laughs> go, but yeah. So the utility menu is one of those things. Um, it's going to be coming for everyone, um, and uh, and that option will be there. Um, we'll make sure that we're not going to override anything if you if you have an existing configuration. Um, but we have that space uh, in a styles for the utility menu that'll be accessible to everybody. Um, there's not much changing about the menus, um, but we are making some, uh, we, we've planned to make some changes. Um, it, there, there were some behaviors before where the, um, in order to get to the top level pages, you had to kind of click a couple times. Uh, we're making it so that these, uh, the links into those parent items are a little more obvious. Uh, so you can tell if you want to get to youth sports, instead of clicking on this like twice, you'll be able to click on, uh, on the item there. Uh, so just some cleanup. Uh, again, that's something that I believe is coming across. The board. Uh, some changes to the logo. Uh, so the option, the small Y template will ship out of the box with the um, the the Y logo without the um, areas of focus. Get the name. Areas, areas of, focus. of focus, yes. <laughs> without the areas of focus showing, um, there'll be some content in the page that'll highlight those. Uh, and uh, and we've got that direction from from YOSA that as long as as long as those are covered within the content, um, they don't have to show up in the logo. So that's been another request. Uh, breadcrumbs, uh, the existing the original uh, landing page layout builder pages uh, did not have a breadcrumbs option, but we've got some styles for those now. Uh, again, that's something that'll be available for everybody. Now, um, going into some things that are going to be special and specific for the small Y. Um, so we've got these new designs uh, for the the banners that have a lot of different options um, for for you to uh, to showcase your content here. Uh, there's this new uh, extra tall banner. Um, so again, pretty large image. It's going to take up a, a big chunk of the page, but that's meant as like a really kind of big uh, home page. Uh, you know, experience. Uh, all of these as well um, support video out of the box. So that's going to be super cool. Um, Vimeo, YouTube, and uh, local video. Uh, and that's already true for the existing banners. I know we've had a lot of people ask about that, but 
when we built these with layout builder, uh, video support was a big, a big deal for a lot of folks. Uh, and that is, is in there on the box. Uh, so we have this smaller banner. Um, all of these support uh, having links as well. Uh, there is a banner with no uh, image. If you want to have, you know, something smaller, like in page or separator, it's a kind of, to kind of um, help organize the page. Uh, there's this, uh, what we're calling the frame banner option. Uh, so that kind of uh, allows you to put a, put a larger image in there. Um, and then there's also uh, this is this is a promo banner that it's called. Um, so a smaller banner that allows um, either a gray background or the colorway uh, background option. Uh, Bobby, just your again, screen isn't scrolling. Just so you know, my screen is not scrolling. No, we're not looking at the varying banners. We're just looking at the hero banner. Uh, so that is because I am sharing the wrong window. Thank you, Kylie. You're very welcome. <laughs> I had it up in two different windows. Uh, uh, really sorry about that. Okay, so back to it. Um, here we are. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So um, just to go through again, we've got that big uh, tall homepage banner, um, the smaller banner for uh, for other, you know, probably the top of other pages on the site. Um, a no media banner. Uh, this is a frame banner. So again, that, that big image on the right side. Uh, and then the two different options for promos, um, either using the colorway or a gray background. So again, just some options to um, to help organize the content and, and, and show off you know, different stuff on the site. Uh, a couple things, this partners is no longer working. Uh, it isn't working right now, uh, but one change that we're bringing across the board uh, to the, the partners or sponsors block uh, is that there'll be tiers available. So there'll be a new uh, sponsors block that allows you to separate the partners into specific tiers. Uh, we've had a number of folks ask for this. If you have, you know, gold, silver, bronze sponsors for an event, something like that, um, that'll be uh, that'll be a really nice option for folks. Um, simple content uh, is going to, you know, support uh, tables as it does now. Um, and there'll be some extra uh, table styles that will be added in a later uh, later sprint to, to help uh, support tables on mobile. Uh, there's a brand new statistics block. So this is going to be uh, a different behavior from the, the, the stats block that was on the existing layout builder pages. Um, so it's got uh, the option for color or gray background at the top. Uh, and another set of of text here uh, to support the um, to support the statistics that you've added. Uh, so it can have uh, it's it's laid out for a maximum of four statistics. Uh, but again, you can see here this is the gray background, and so the uh, the colors are reversed there. Uh, and then it can support three options with um, with the third in the middle and two as well. So that is um, that's the stats block, and uh, it's it's a it's a nice new design there. Uh, finally, the footer has been redesigned. Um, we've got two links down below: uh, the copyright block and the social sharing, uh, and a nice back stop link. So um, I can show quick as well. Um, if we go into layout, all of these options use the existing uh, structures that we put together for uh, for the layout builder landing pages to begin with. Uh, so this means that you can change how these banners look and a lot of the components uh, without having to to rebuild it. Uh, I, you know. Before, if you if you decided you wanted to have a different style, um, you may have needed to like rebuild uh, a whole new paragraph. If we go into styles here under Y style, you can see we've got the the five different variations of the banner. Uh, we've got the two different colors that are available, and then also uh, we can change the button fill uh, for for those call to action buttons. One other thing that I'll that I'll point out, um, we found recently that. Um, 
the the headings, uh, the, the banners, sorry, on all of the layout builder components uh, were only listing, uh, only using H2 tags for their titles. Uh, and this was a problem for, um, for sites because uh, if you used a banner as the title of the page, uh, that page wasn't getting an H1 and that can have some SEO impacts. So uh, there's now this heading level option on all of the banners. Uh, and if you're using the uh, if you're using the banner as the the main kind of page title, you can uh, select H1. If you're using it further down the page, you can use H2, uh, and that'll help. Um, the, the styles don't change, but that will help for SEO and um, and readability on the page. Uh, the screen and, and make sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, make sure screen readers have have all the right stuff. Um. I think that's all I've got for now. There are a couple more components that we didn't get into this list yet. Uh, but yeah, it's exciting. Uh, there's a lot of work coming down the pipe and uh, I'm excited to, to see it in the fall. That's awesome. We're also going to try to pull back, as Avi said, some of the betterments and improvements into the main distribution. So you guys keep an eye on those. Um, I know it seems small, but there are little pain points that the community has expressed, utility navs and just little small items. And so I think you guys will really appreciate those as you go um, and as you start to move your way through your layout builder ad adoption. Um, let me just go back and re share the screen and hand it over to Tom Scarborough. Great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, yeah, so I Oh yeah, I appreciate it. So uh, I just want to talk through a few things that are uh, being deprecated at the end of the year. Um, and by deprecated, I mean the supporting code. Uh, it's not being pulled from the code distribution. It just means that this team won't be providing updates or official support for these things. Um, so, those include the Lily and Rose themes. Uh, so all of the new layout builder development has been focused on the carnation theme uh, with an eye towards moving away towards theming entirely to colorways. Um, so again, you know, there's no rush to update your sites if you're using Lily or Rose right now, but it would be in your best interest to just acknowledge this date if you want, you know, full support from this team and your uh, vendor partner. Uh, also support for paragraphs is ending at the end of the year. So um, Layout Builder has been available for roughly a year and a half. And um, if you haven't started working with your vendor partner to migrate your content from the older content types to Layout Builder, then, then please, please start that. Um, and of course you can always reach out to um, YCloud at ymca.net or reach out on the Slack channels if you have questions about where to start or any questions um, around the content types that you use in Layout Builder. Just please, you know, feel free to um, to ask around. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to also reiterate to everybody on paragraphs: it has no impact to your to your individual site. You can continue to have your sub web website up in the world. Um, it just means our support to those pieces um, will be coming down, but your individual site that you are using will continue to run and operate with um, without any issues. But if you have questions, reach out to your vendor, reach out to Tom, reach out to myself, and we're happy to make sure that we sort of coach you through that. Awesome, awesome. And, you know, I'm just repeating, you know, something I've touched on the last few meetings. Uh, so virtual why is uh, going away at the end of this year. Um, for those sites that host virtual Y outside of YUSA, I mean, again, the um, the code is not um, uh, the code is going to continue to work where you currently host it, but just know that there's going to be no official support or new uh, updates or even security updates after uh, the end of this year. For those of you that host a virtual Y with YUSA, we are sunsetting those sites on the last day of the year. Um, and some sites have been uh, decommissioned already. Um, if you have not, then you can continue to run it until the end of the year. Uh, at that day, we're going to take down those sites. And of course, YUSA will stop billing uh, you for your hosting costs. 
And right, the way that you would uh, cancel if you do host with YUSA is to open a support ticket. So these are the instructions for opening the ticket in your virtual Y site. When you're logged in using your site owner role user, just go to the bottom of any administrative page and you'll see this Y Cloud support block. Um, you can, honestly, you can open a ticket using the bottom link, or you can just email me, either way works. Just uh, please let us know when your desired last day is, um, or if it's immediate, and we'll take down the site and let finance know to stop building you at that time. Uh, Tom, there is a question from Sarah Baker. Are you going to let, are you going to allow redirects to our new homes for virtual content? Yeah, let's let's gonna... talk about that. Yeah, please, um, you know, email me. This goes for anybody. Um, uh, just uh, email me again, ycloud at ymca.net, like you're seeing on your screen, and let me know that that's your intention, and we can discuss that. Okay. And then Andre has answered, it can be done um, if you're not with Y hosting. If you're on a different partner, you can 100% have a redirect to your new hosting space. We'll just sort of work with you to work with your vendor to make sure that that gets achieved. Um, in terms of the product roadmap portal, um, that is our sort of last phase. Just seeing if Shelly is on the call. Um, the product roadmap portal, we have this, just wanted to make sure that it is remain available to you. So this is the link to the product roadmap portal. It's here and available to you should you want to utilize it. Um, we we get a lot of ideas and prioritize things based on your guys' feedbacks and requests. So if there is something that you as the broader community needs or wants to see happen to the distribution, please put it in here. You can use this link. Um, there's this place where you can enter tickets. We, re we take all of those feedback very seriously and they do help us guide our decision-making process as we move our way through um, the next few releases. So please, 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 if you have an interesting idea, please make sure you post it. Um, and we look forward to seeing those coming. Um, Tom, do you want to take this last one just on the community call change time? Um, so we have one last reminder here to let you guys know about the community call, which you can see we're no longer on Tuesday. We've moved to Wednesday, but Tom, I'll let you go. Yeah, sure. I want to touch on this for those that are watching the meetings on YouTube and aren't here right now, because those of you that are here, you know, got the memo. But for those of you that aren't on the, the call yet, um, we did have to move the community call for various reasons. Uh, so from here on out, it will be on uh, the second Wednesday of every month at that same time. Uh, we continue to post all of the meetings to the YouTube uh, playlist that we've been using. And I will post the link to the playlist as well to this meeting right after I upload it a little later today. But um, I believe you all will have the updated calendar entry already because I updated that when we make the change. But for those of you on the call that uh, aren't on that invite, then please email me. I mean, again, ycloud at ymca.net, and I will make sure your email gets included on that um, official ICS invite. Awesome. Um, just as we close out the call today, thank you for some of your time. There is a reminder of some community resources. If you ever need them, you can always find the um, the docs that we have that has extensive training videos. So if you're ever trying to figure out how to do something, both the docs and the YouTube channel have extensive training videos to help you navigate any of the layout builder stuff. Um, we've always got encouraged community discussion in the Slack channel and you can keep that going there. Um, I do, as we close, there are a few questions coming in the chat that I just wanna make sure that we address with the broader question. So David is asking, is the utility nav going to be easily customizable as other menus? I'm gonna leave you with that one. Avi, go for it. Yeah, so um, as we said in chat, uh, the utility menu is just going to be another standard Drupal menu. Uh, Andre chimed in as well. It'll be totally customizable, uh, just like all of the other menu. So you'll have the utility menu, the user account menu, and the main nav uh, that'll all give you options for, for adding links to that. Um, is there an, if there's any other questions, please let us know. Um, and we'll happy to review them, but we appreciate your participation. Great. All right. Again, thank you everyone so much. Um, and again, our thoughts and prayers go out to all of you in uh, Florida and the uh, Southeast. Um, I will have this posted to YouTube shortly. So thank you all for your time and happy October. Happy October. Bye guys. Bye everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.